If you want to use the walk test feature on the panel, you need to be logged into the panel using either a maintenance or an installer code. For this example, I will use an installer code. To log into the panel as an installer, press F4 to select the main menu. Using the jog dial button, turn the dial and select a user which has the installer credentials. Now press the jog dial button to scroll down to the password option. Using the jog dial button, select the correct password for the user. To do this simply turn the jog dial button to select the correct number, and by pressing the jog dial button will move the cursor to the next digit. Now press the jog dial button or F4 to enter into the installer menu. Using the jog dial button, select test, then press the jog dial button. Now press the button to select zone test. The information that you can see on the screen is as follows. The number on the left hand side represent the zone number. For example 0001 is zone number 1. NML which means normal is the current status of the zone. The number 10 represents how many devices are in zone number 1. The bottom line is the zone location description. To activate a walk test on zone number 1, simply press the jog dial button. If you need to know what devices are in a zone before you activate the walk test, press F4 to select devices, then turn the jog dial button to view the devices. Once you have finished viewing the devices, press F1 to select back. Now I will activate zones 1 to 6 into walk test. If the panel is set to the default configuration, only 4 zones can be tested. To change this, the following steps must be followed. Press F1 to select back, then press F2 to select exit. Now press F4 to select main menu. Press the jog dial button to select field setup. Select zone configuration. Now press the jog dial button to select general config. Press F3 to select next, two times. You can now see the maximum of zones that can be currently tested together. Simply use the jog dial button and change this figure to the maximum zones that you would want to test, at one time. Pressing the jog dial button will move the cursor one step over to the right. Now press F4 to select enter, then press F1 to select back. Now to complete the process, simply press F3 to apply your new configuration. Now you can go back to zone test and select zones 5 and 6. Now press F2 to select exit. When a device is activated and the zone is in walk test, the zone test is confirmed on the panel display while the alarm is active. If a zone board is installed and the corresponding zone is included on the zone board, then the zone alarm LED will be flashing or steady, depending on the type of device that was activated. Also fire routing, fire protection, sounders, and programmable outputs will not activate. The control panel resets the device after 5 seconds and clears the alarm. The event is recorded in the event log which can be used as evidence of the test. To return the panel back to a live system, log back into the panel using either a maintenance or an installer code and go back to zone test. Simply using the jog dial button, select the zones that is in a test condition and press the button to remove the zone from walk test. Once you have finished, press F2 to select exit. 